Hello and welcome to my level 4 merchant guide. So in this one I'm going to be covering every merchant in detail and this will include the Scribe, Doc Anderson, Anne Hargreaves, Ron Staples, Voltec Rep, Trader Riley, Holt Combs and Smiling Larry. So each of these have their own specific ways of spawning and to obtain them you need to do specific things. Now as you might already know they are all very very bug except for a couple that are fairly easy. The rest are most likely only obtainable through the PC input commands. Now to get this information in the video I had to watch so many other videos on merchants and spawn points and that kind of thing so what I want to do with this video is just get all that information from all different videos and put it into one. So that's what this video is. So without further ado let's get into it. For starters you need to have level 3 shops, what they're called is level 3 emporiums. So to get this you need a cap collector and local leader. Also keep in mind that some merchants require a level, a certain level population in at least one of your settlements and all that is listed in the description as well as where you should assign them to. So let's get on with it. First up, let me introduce you to the ones that I did find. Out here. Oh, these goddamn settlers, it's the problem with having 36 people in one settlement as small as this. Anyway, so the scribe, the armor vendor. Well, then I built the weapons for Smiling Larry, but he's bugged. The clothing is Anne Hargraves. We'll see what kind of clothes you got. Ah, uh, not now. Then the general trader. We have a Voltec Rep. Gets off to a shaky start with you. And then I built the clinic for Doc Anderson, but we'll get into that. Anyway, let's move on. So first up, we have Anne Hargraves now. To initiate this quest you can do one of two things, you can come to this broadcast center down there or you can go to the towers, I think it's the Trinity Towers, yeah and there you will pick up a distress signal from Rex or you just walk into the towers and initiate the quest, curtain call and this is also how you recruit the companion strong. So once that is done, head back to the broadcast center and have a chat with Anne. Excuse me. Well, it was quite a feat to rescue Rex from those super mutants. So, what do you do here? I play all the women's roles in our play. Are you. George well, Cooper. It was quite a feat to rescue Sam Rex Glad. from those super mutants. I could use a seamstress. Would you come work for me? Now before you leave, be sure to grab the magazine off the table. Nice. At this point, it's just luck. So build or sleep for 24 hours, build a bell, ring it, and then hope for the best. The bell can be found under the resources miscellaneous in the build menu. And sleep for 24 hours, ring the bell, and then hopefully she will eventually come. Now I assigned her to the weapons because I just wanted to assign her to something but she is a seamstress and belongs in the clothing emporium. Next up we have the Vault Tech Rep. He can be found in Good Neighbor in Hotel Rexford upstairs and he starts off a bit snotty with you because of something Codsworth said so he was pissed off with the robot which is the waste of anyone's time really. Anyway, so head upstairs and have a chat with him. You're from Sanctuary Hills, aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah, I'm from Sanctuary. Why? You don't remember me? I sold you that space in the vault, <laughs> but then I was... I've been so alone here. No common wealth settlement, once a ghoul, with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit, I promise. Hey, hey, you know, you will? Okay, I'll get over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. Now he 
he only has the option to be sent to Sanctuary Hills. So send him there, head over there, and then go have a chat with him and send him anywhere else if you want to. It's risky, but I thought if I could, I'll just try to send him to the one I want him to. And he rocked up, so okay, all good. Busy. I, I almost thought you would. That's great. I won't let you down. And there he is. So assign him to a general trader and let's head on to the next one. Alright, so now we're going to get on to the slightly more complicated ones. This is Holt Combs. Now, he is the husband of Alexis Combs and she works as a vendor inside Vault 81. So head over there and go and have a chat with her. The whole idea is to get Alexis to leave Holt because he's sleeping around with a girl called Tina DeLuca. Now, I'm going to show you everything I've been able to find about this affair. But for starters, we're going to have a chat with her and again you'll need a nice charisma yeah. to even get a little bit of the way through this. So come prepared. Hey. Boom, phrasing. Do you run this place by yourself? Well, there's my husband Hall, but once you need him, he's nowhere to be found. I swear the cat is more help than he is. Why do you say that? I really shouldn't get into it. It's alright. You can tell me. Oh, it's just change. He's never around, always claiming he has some errands to run. Back when we first met, he seemed devoted till the end. He actually taught me everything I know when it comes to fixing things. He spent every minute he could with me, and of course Aaron after we had her. Now, it's like we don't exist, and every conversation we have is a fight. Sounds like an asshole to me. Most days. If I didn't know the man he used to be, the man I fell in love with, I'd agree, 100%. But enough about him. Let me know if I can help you with anything here at the depot. I need to get back to work. So there's Holt over there. But anyway, now, if you go downstairs to the hairdresser, Horatio, he will give you some gossip. And this is another indication that, well, this is your first indication that Holt is actually sleeping around. Anything interesting happening in the vault? Say, Hulk is running around on his wife. <laughs> Apparently, he and Tina DeLuca are secretly getting together. Okay, so let me show you where this all goes down. Now, there's a secret storeroom, well, a storeroom, uh, which I will show you now. So here we have Holt, Alexis, Anne, and Ashes. That's the family, and their bedroom is right there to the right. And down here is the room where they are supposed to meet, or they do actually meet. Now, Holt is normally always down there, so I didn't quite know how to get Tina down there. But eventually I figured out that there's a quest you have to do, a dependency or something, and I'll show you now. And once you complete that and sort her brother out, off the jet addiction, then she automatically walks to that room. Are but you I'll show you. Me out or what? So according to this, I walked away in the middle Any of a conversation. I can do that? But I don't think that would have happened because this is the reason I was here. Anyway, so this quest, get, quest gets initiated. So go speak to the doc, convince her to see a patient. Then you have to go see Deluca her brother and convince him to get off jet and you'll need to pass a charisma check or test to convince him to do that. Is everything all right? Do you need medical assistance? Do you have chems to treat addiction? Yes, I have an adequate supply of addictol. However, if the patient doesn't want to quit, he or she will just go back to using. It's for Bobby DeLuca. I'm relieved to hear you say so. After the incident, I've seen his symptoms progress rapidly. If you can bring him here, I'll administer the drug.
Hey, Bobby. Hey, the outsider. I'm just in charge of the generators here. Tina, Sandra. Oh, Jesus. I know what this is about. You need to get help, Bobby. Go see Rachel. She has medicine that will help you. She, she, she can? I never realized there were drugs to treat. Drugs? That easy. I'll do it. I'll go see her right now. So now I'll go find Tina. Now I think completing that quest actually activates her because she's Tina. now leaving her workplace. Bobby's different since you helped him get clean. Work still sucks, but I think he's happier. So just follow her and she will go down to that room. And unfortunately, this is where my journey ends. I've spoken to everyone. I've tried to get Alexis down here. I've done everything I possibly could and maybe it just needs some time, but that's as far as and as much as I know for Holt Combs. Next up we have the Scribe. Now this location is definitely the best location for random encounters, at least it was for me. Um, I found almost all of my rare NPCs through this location. So head over to the Cambridge Labs. What you want to do here is trigger the event. So this is also quite a common one, you might have seen it already. So head all the way down till you get to a lawnmower or a yellow car and just walk in between them and then head on back. Keep in mind as well that this spawn location is limited and will dry up, it has for me. So make a hard save when you arrive here and if you don't find something you like, load it up. So there he is, stoked. <coughs> Good day to you stranger. You look like someone that appreciates the utility of a good set of armor. You interested in coming to work for me? I have a good spot you can set up shop. I'm intrigued. You have a deal. I'll head that way right now. Right, so now repeat the process before, sleep for 24 hours, ring the bell, and hope. Then assign him to the armor vendor, and you're off. Sure, I'm always looking for good armor. My selection is a bit limited right now, but take a look. So this is where I got the Apocalypse armor, and the Mark IV synth, which are both amazing. Uh, I do a bit of a showcase at the end of the video on those, if you're interested, uh, along with all the unique NPCs and rare NPCs that I found on my travels, I'll also show at the end of the bit. Next up, Trader Riley. Well, this was very frustrating because I know for a fact I've got to the last point I need to be before asking her to join me, but it just doesn't give me the option. And also keep in mind this location is also a random encounter spawn point, but in my travels I never found anything yet. So I actually restarted a game, or started a new game, and got to this point and tried to do this quest, and then I found this guy. Why? Are you threatening me? <laughs> After he's done speaking about his explosive diarrhea, he will mark the Lakowski um, cannery on your map. And you can head over there and you will see what happens. So once inside, wait for them to finish arguing. And then, don't bother speaking to, to Trailer yet, to Riley yet. Uh, speak to Theodore, he'll ask you to take care of some mole rats or something in his basement and when you're in there you will discover the mystery meat quest which is to take out Theodore and then when that's done you can head back outside and speak to Riley so there's the mystery meat quest so after killing Theodore come outside and now this is where you are supposed to be able to ask her to join you I've seen it in other videos but only in PC 
So up next, I'm going to show you a whole lot of uh, random encounter spawn locations. So this one is at start at drive-in. Turn around, look under the bridge, and hopefully there'll be something there. I, I only ever found monsters, I never found NPCs on this location. Then we have ArcJet Systems. Now this, again, I only ever found monsters, no NPCs. Now keep in mind, all these locations I'm showing you are where you could find Doc Anderson, Ron Staples, and Smiling Larry, if you're very, very lucky. Then we head on over to MedTech Research. Again, this place, I never found anyone, but I have seen videos on console of people finding the traders here, so Head over there and then turn immediately left, walk down the road, have a look around, and that's this one done. Next up, Mass Pike Interchange. So here I only ever found monsters as well, but also one vendor that sells dogs, but I couldn't do anything with him. So most of the time it's just the beasts. Then we're gonna head down to Hyde Park, and this always produces a battle for me. So turn around as you spawn in, and there'll be a battle raging normally. Next up, the bad TFL officers, and in this one I did find some rare uh, enemies, they're called Art, they're all called Art, <laughs> and they're always normally fighting amongst themselves. Anyway, this, this is another spawn location. Then we have Covenant. Now this location, again, I have seen people getting it on console um, or getting encounters, not necessarily the traders, but for me, I never found anything at this location. So just after this tree across the road, there's a destroyed caravan, and sometimes they'll be spawning here. So that covers all the merchants. What I'm gonna show you next are all the random rare NPCs I came across. So starting off with Ness, she's a, a chems dealer. Sorry, not Ness. Yes, it is Ness. I thought it was Stash. No, it's Ness. Now she will give you a secret mission to go to Skylane's crash site and Take what care of some super mutants. That much scrap could be worth a lot to the right buyer. Trouble is, some raiders are holed up in it. Help me run them off, and I'll give you a cut of the profit. How about 50 caps? Sound fair? Come on, make it worth my time. 100. I'm in. All right. There's a little ridge just south of the crash site. Meet me there, and we'll take them on together. So this is the Preston Garvey impersonator. Hey man, Fairly funny, he will just try a scam on you to try and get caps, so... Blow his head off or let him run away, whatever. You're not Preston Garvey. Say what, man? Close. You really need to get a better overcoat. And you forgot to pin up the hat. Still, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, shit. Next up, we have Absalom. Not sure what his story is, but cool name. Gruel. Now he seems to be a wandering chef and off the bat he's hostile so after your battle he'll be holding a shopping list for some sort of, I don't know, don't think I won't omelet. Hurt. 
Phantom Man. Now he was interesting because something he says at the end of this conversation leads me to believe that maybe if you came here in your shroud outfit with your gun, this might go differently. So give it a bash. Damn you, cliffhanger! And again, evil falls before me. As soon as I have conquered the land, once more I will conquer the sea. <coughs> There we go, the silver shroud. Can't hurt to try. So next up we have Stash, accompanied by Simon and Lexa. Now she's just a chems dealer, so nothing too special there. Wow, look who it is. Glad to see the wasteland hasn't swallowed you up. Interest you in a little something to enliven up your day? Then lastly we have Colonel Gutsy. Now he was a <laughs> he was a beast. Well, he is a beast, so took a good couple of attempts with some rocket launchers to take him down, but I got there in the end. So that brings us to the end, guys. So I really hope this video was informative and it helps you in any way. If it did, please leave a like and ask me any questions you might have. Happy to answer them. So with that, that's me done. And I'll see you next time.